in this video, we're gonna go over an example of a two sample Z test for proportions. So I actually set up some data for you guys that I wanna show you. This is true polls, actual polls about Trump's approval rating. Now, Harris Interactive interviewed 3,004 people and found that 1,322 of them supported Donald Trump. Uh, that means 44% of, of their sample support Donald Trump. Whereas YouGov sampled only 1,000 people and found that 400 of them support Donald Trump, which is 40%. The question is, are these two samples different from each other? Now, in one sense, the answer is yes. I mean, look at this. Harris Interactive has 44%. YouGov has 40%. Those are different numbers. But the question is, are those numbers actually really different from each other? Are they so different that there has to be something else outside that is influencing how these polls are conducted so that these two polls are genuinely different from each other. And that's what the two sample Z test for proportions can help us with. So I'm actually going to pull up the calculator. I'm going to go to stat, go under tests, going to hit two prop Z test. Now X1, I have one, three, two, two. N1, I have three, zero, zero, four. X2, I have 400. And N2, I have 1,000. Now, I have actually not seen the results of this yet. I'm actually interested in as to whether or not these two polls are statistically significant from each other. Because if they are, that means there's something else influencing these polls um, that make these two polls different from each other. Meaning that perhaps one of these polls, if not both of them, have some sort of bias involved. That would be really interesting. So let's calculate this, t uh, this test. And let's... Whoa! Wow, this is, oh, wow, this is really interesting. So, um, wow, okay, hold on, I need to show you guys these results. Um, so I got Z equals 2.217, so on, and P equals 0 0.02659, and so on. Wow, so these are two actual polls that I just pulled up. They just happened um, as of yes, as of yesterday. They came out. Um, so let's talk about these two polls. They're statistically different from each other. This p value is less than a typical alpha value of 0 0.05. P is less than alpha, meaning that these two tests are statistically significant from each other. So at least one of these polls is conducting their poll in a way that's influencing their sample so that it is actually different than the other sample. Meaning that there's bias involved. One of these polls has some bias. That is incredibly interesting to me. I actually just picked two random polls and just was wondering if they have uh, statistically significant results. Guess the answer is yes. It says a lot about polls. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next lecture.